and the horn, regular horn, and that is my train horn. I'm coming in. Hot. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing this Edge Insight for the Red LOI Duramax. Mm -hmm. This is honestly the first thing I would buy on any diesel vehicles. And even for a gas vehicle, I would recommend it. But with a gas vehicle, as this is just an Insight, so it's a monitor that kind of monitors. <laughs> it's a device that monitors uh, your parameters of your Duramax or of your vehicle but for a gasser you could definitely buy one that's a tuner uh, that comes with the exact same screen uh, those are called the Edge CTS2 uh, Evolution let's go ahead and unbox this real quick alright so if we unbox this get in there tear it open yes sir look at that oh it's so pretty and black it comes Oop. with the Instructions. instructions. Yep, instructions and some stickers and quick installation guide as well as the other edge products you can take a look at. Bird's eye view. Thank you. Perfect. Put that aside. The main thing we want is the monitor. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your purchase. Three fingers like a bowling ball? Yep, three fingers. And then here is here are your main components. The wires. And this is if you were to connect it to your computer and do an update. And some zip ties. And this box has your suction cup mount. Voila. Yeah, so the cool thing is if you don't want to use a suction cup mount, they do make like little pillar adapters that you can move your factory pillar and buy one that's provided by Ed. I don't mind using the suction cup mount. Uh, other people actually have it on there. They have it where it's on the dash too. So those are pretty cool. You can check it out on their websites. I'll put the link in the description below. And a huge shout out to Edge for sending us this as well. This is your expandable accessory system. If we look at their main wiring harness, this goes into your OBD2 plug. And this is like your standard HDMI. It gets plugged up to your monitor. On your main wiring harness, it has this part where it separates. Now. We gotta go to my truck and show everybody the cool thing about the expandable accessory. I need you to film. We are in my Duramax, well my other Duramax, and this is currently what I have. Excuse the wiring right now because, well, the cool thing about the edge is actually I can actually, the, the reason why the wiring is all messed up is I usually have it tucked in, but I've been test driving all these Duramaxes, and every time I test drive, I use my monitor, I use my Edge Insight to check the injector balance rate. So that's one of the really cool things about having one of these. But talking about the expandable accessory is you can actually wire your light bar and stuff, power it using the monitor. Right now, I have my train horns hooked up to the Edge using the expandable accessory. So if we click on this air, that is my air compressor so we'll turn that off and the horn regular horn and that is my train horn so we'll turn it back off actually I always have it on the train horn I would recommend the Insight for either tuned Duramax or tuned diesels or non-tuned diesels. On tuned diesels it's really cool especially on the LOI and the LB7 is that with these trucks, only with LB7 and LOI Duramax, you can change the tune just using that edge monitor. There's a, there's a setting where you can go through uh, five different tunes. Now, that's if you, when you order the tune, you do have to check the box that says you will be using the edge to change the tunes. Once you load the tunes to your vehicle, you hook up the edge, you go to settings, and you check the box that says using EFI Live. And you just scroll down to where it says EFI Live, it was turned off. So you just gotta turn that on. And then now, um, let's see. All right, do that. Boom, so I'm on tune two right now. Uh, I forgot what that tune is. But let's go ahead and jump over to tune four. Oh, five, no, not yet, four. And we're gonna test out four. 
and I'm gonna show you guys what this baby is capable of doing, all right? But like I said, that is only for LB7 and the LOI. That is what's really unique about it. Uh, when you tune your vehicle, you have two options. You can either use a DSP5 switch or use the edge. Me personally, uh, on my white truck, I did not want to drill any extra holes. So I used my edge to change the tunes and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I would actually recommend having an edge for your non-tuned vehicles too, or non-tuned diesels too, that would still have your def tank. Uh, mainly because it does show you parameters of like your def temperature, uh, the def fluid temperature. I think it also shows you like your regen and all that stuff too. However, I don't know too much about regen and uh, the def side of using the edge because I've never really had to deal with it because uh, my LOI didn't use def tank and when I got the Denali, the def tank wasn't on there. So I've never actually encountered using um, the def fluid in any of my diesel trucks. Having the edge inside came in really handy, especially when you limp your transmission because on my white LOI Duramax, I limped the transmission twice. And I think it had, honestly, I think it had to do with the fuel because I was on tune five. It just wasn't getting enough fuel because I was on tune five and uh, I didn't have a lift pump and I stomped on it. And I think that's what triggered the, the limp mode. So all I had to do was go into diagnostics on the edge and clear the check engine light. Also, when we were at a show, what, three weeks ago? Um, mm. Yeah, one of our friends, Ellis, he, uh, as soon as he got to the show, the check engine light came on on his vehicle. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, he had no way of knowing what it was, and he was kind of freaking out. And honestly, for me, like if my check engine light came on right before the show, I wouldn't be able to enjoy the show. I would just be paranoid the whole time, worrying about what would, what would be wrong with the truck. So what we did was we hooked I up- I live life on the edge. My check engine on the light's always edge. on. No pun intended. <laughs> so we can actually use that to figure out what is wrong with your- uh, Knock sensor. Knock sensor. Okay. Well, we, uh, we plugged it up. We plugged up the edge to Ellis's truck and I uh, found out it was just a, uh, what? Uh, map sensor yeah two sensor wasn't it? yeah something like that it, it wasn't a big deal he just probably had to clean it out and honestly i just cleared the code for him and uh he didn't have check engine light anymore so that is really cool uh that's a big plus that they can do that that is a big plus because you have a monitor that can also use be used as a diagnostics tool and you can also do trans relearn on these duramaxes so if you get your truck tuned make sure your transmission relearns so uh i think we should get it in there that's what she said Mm. Oof. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Can you start do the honors? I can. I can do the honors. Let's show them how easy it is to install. We don't have to show them how to tuck wires. That's pretty simple. That's true. It's self-explanatory, but I'm definitely show them how easy it is to install. It's super easy and super simple. So this goes into your OBD plug right here on these trucks. Bam. Bam. And then no way bam that's it what that's literally it i'm gonna crank the key to oh so it's already turning on look at that insight yep. i'm gonna deflower it do it I'm, it takes two thank you sir look at that and this thing comes in super handy whenever you are shopping for a diesel truck you can check the injector balance rates and that's exactly see what that. did. Like I was saying, huge shout out to Edge for sending me that unit. Edge Insight is one of the very first mods I do, or not even really mods, just one of the first things I buy for my trucks, my Duramaxes, uh, any of the vehicles I buy, I buy the Edge monitor just because I like to monitor everything and uh, have an insight on my vehicle, no pun intended. Yeah, in the future, we're probably going to add some accessories to it, maybe uh, power rock lights with it. I don't know. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to check out more Duramax content. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.